Afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Colorado Rockies and the Philadelphia Phillies. Number 67 makes his much anticipated debut next. Vince Velasquez is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phillies. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt. Five full innings for this guy in his last one. You couldn't really consider that a powerhouse outing. He was able to get a no decision, but I'm sure he and the team are looking for a lot more in this one today. Trevor Story swings and misses there, so he's down 0 and 1. Dan Dero, these Phillies as they begin play here today, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and in fact dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game. And they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. The 2-1 home. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. And obviously this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Williams is right there, one down. Batting second, the second baseman, Brett Boswell. At the plate, Brett Boswell. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. Sent on the ground out to second. Kingery's there, and there are two away now. That is third. The third base. Settling in now, Nolan Arenado. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Ball one. drive that's going to be caught out there at short pretty much right in the glove that time and the inning is over three up three down for Colorado now it'll be the Phillies turn no score Herman Marquez the right hander from Venezuela gets the starting nod in this one Dan Flezak what do you got Hey, one of the things this guy does really well, neutralize the left-handed hitters. On the season, lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy, so whatever he's doing against lefties, it certainly works. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. These Rockies guys, they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team is playing well right now, and they got their ace on the mound. This guy has unbelievable stuff. And, and I can't underestimate the fact that this is a day game. We are creatures of habit. Guys are used to playing 7 o'clock games at night and rolling out of bed around 12, 1 o'clock and heading to the yard. Instead, they're going to get stuff thrown down their throat right at that time. I hope these guys got out of bed and got a few cups of coffee in them. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. This year against right-handed pitching, McCutcheon is holding on to a batting average way down in the 210s. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Andrew McCutcheon becomes out number two this inning. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one comes in here right at 260 five homers 13 RBIs Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now not much you're going to do with that pitch right there you have to catch it out front before it even breaks and even if you do that it's a tough pitch to keep fair swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning three up three down for Philadelphia 
we are still scoreless. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. Number 19. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Maddie, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit the nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. Here's the first pitch to him. J.J. Blade stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Though he was always projected as a future major leaguer, actually getting to stand in for your first big league at bat is no small feat. You got to think he's really happy to be here, of course. Yeah, Matty, this guy turned a lot of heads in spring training. Swung the bat extremely well and was just waiting for something to happen for him to get the call to the big leagues. A ball and two strikes now. Liner toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. The throw into second. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. J.J. Blade has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him, and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. Here's Daniel Murphy now. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center, Williams is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Naquin, runner in scoring position with two gone. First delivery to him on the way. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Rocky Strand one will go to the bottom of the second. No score. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. Previous history with Herman Marquez. He's a 333 hitter. He's taken him deep once. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 2 1 home. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. First offering on its way. Bottom of the second here with no score. Fouled off. Gregorius, also known as Sir Didi around the game and in the Netherlands. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Some guys only get to free agency one time in their career. This guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season? And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Swing and a miss one and one. You know, when you're facing a top-of-the-line pitcher like this, 
He's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. Two and one to count. Now here it comes. Two out, nobody on. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. And another foul ball. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Fast ball just inside. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Line drive, snagged on a short hop. Throw to Murphy, he'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Phillies down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. New inning set to get underway, and next to hit is the catcher, Tony Walters. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. Throw into second. And he's able to get back in there at first safely. Hey, nice A-B right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. At the plate, Herman Marquez tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Now that Digging in to try it again, Trevor Story. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at... Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. Trevor Story with a two-run shot. Fourth home run for him on the season as the Rockies have taken a two-to-nothing lead. Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens, you throw him a strike, and he can hit the ball all the ballpark like he did just there. Up next to Colorado. In now, Brett Boswell. Brett Boswell. Hit back toward the mound. Scooped up. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. So digging in now, Nolan Arenado. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First offering on its way. Pitch inside the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And there's out number two. So here's the cleanup hitter, Charlie Blackman. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Strike one to start the at bat. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hit hard towards center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. 
And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. And he is in there with an RBI triple. So close yet so far away. Two outs but back to back hits. This one a triple and three runs have now been chased home. We'll see if the defense can make a play and get them out of this nightmare. to the plate now J.J. Blade as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate it was a double for him in his first turn at the plate a bouncer up the middle throw on to first and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode but they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We play two and a half. It's now a three-nothing Colorado lead. Up next will be Nick Williams. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. So with one gone in the inning, time for a quick check of the standings in the National League West as you get a look at where the Rockies find themselves entering play here today. And in steps Scott Kingery. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. No balls in one strike. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Fouled away. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Oh I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Vince Velasquez is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh. Swing and a miss looked like the slider there a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer on that one two balls and a strike. A swing and a miss there two and two. He's in complete command of his two seamer right now. It's got great movement great depth running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. And the Phillies are into the hit column. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away which I don't think is the best pitch anyway. You better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one it started out on the corner so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. So it's back to the top of the order now and that'll bring in Gene Segura. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much but it's 0 and 1. Barely able to make contact down 0 and 2 now. And he popped him up. Boswell is calling for it. And the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Stepping into the box, Daniel Murphy. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. This is on the ground over to first. 
Oh, look at the sliding stop. Touche, sir. The catcher, number four. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. First pitch on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Three runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. That's inside. 2-0. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. You know, he fell behind 2-0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball, middle of the zone. Softly hit out to short. And this will be pulled in easily for the final out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They lead it three to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The 1-0. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Now, ball and two strikes now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point. So he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Bryce Harper is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Count even now at one and one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two and two. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Reese Hoskins is on deck. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail it here, three to nothing. So here now is the pitcher, Herman Marquez. The pitcher, Herman here comes the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. After it is Williams, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Trevor Story stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. And it's fouled away. Marquez aboard here at first with nobody out. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And now this is bobbled out in center. 
Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs when you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d -Road, he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. Brett Boswell is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. behind 0-2 now. First and second here with nobody out. Ball one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0-2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one, hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. A oh, double play ball to second. Four. Three, apparently. Not sure what was on his mind there, but he elects to take only the out at first. How about Nolan. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. He's coming off a month in which he earned National League Player of the Month recognition. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. Christopher Sanchez was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Charlie Blackman is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1-0. and Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The 1-0 home. It's a swinging strike on the fastball. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run scores. And they'll hold that runner at third. So everyone moves up and they remain loaded here with still only one gone. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball season. Bottom line is this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. At the plate now, J.J. Blade as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Bases are loaded with only one out. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Segura for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More of the show. Saturday baseball after this. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And he fouls this one off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here. As we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department. JT Realmuto comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Nick Wooden's under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Striding in, Nick Williams. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. 
high in the air out to center field. Nick wins under it. And that retires the side. Phillies down in order. They trail here four to nothing. Ready once again, Daniel Murphy. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Daniel. In there, and it's 0 1. Even on 0 and 2, a dangerous count for Daniel Murphy. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. So here's Tyler Naquin. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Comes set and the 0-1. Back up the middle. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Boy, after that base knock right there, D. Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. He's one for two in this one. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. On 0-2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full 3-2. and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2, and two. and he's seen a lot of pitches too. Ani pops it up, and this is going to work out for him. It's a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still. David Dahl will get a chance to really deliver off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the bases loaded and nobody out. Crowd him there to start the at bat. It's one and zero on the year. Dahl comes into action, sporting a slugging line above 650, and that's not something you see every day. Truly an elite power bat. That's lifted the other way out to left. McCutcheon is under it, and he makes the play. But this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. The tag, and they got him at third. It's a double play. Trevor Story will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. Hit to third. Gregorius is there. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. A couple of hits lead to one in the inning for Colorado. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Rockies five and the Phillies nothing. Jake McGee is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. 
number 51, Jake McGee. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Scott Kingery. They'll lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. I don't know if he needs a few more warm-up pitches, or he's just announcing his presence with authority. Either way, watch your face. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. And, boy, they are howling over in that first base dugout. They think that was intentional, and I've got to say, I think I do, too. And now you see the home plate umpire coming out, and the message has been sent. He's going to warn both benches. And that's the right thing to do by any umpire, Matt. Warn both sides and put them on notice that they're not going to put up with anything going forward in this game. Your it does put some please. added pressure on the pitchers to be accurate when they're pitching inside because even a mistake could lead to an ejection now, but that's just the way it has to be. Oh, and look out now. Back-to-back -back batters hit by the pitch, and guys don't take kindly to that. He went right back after the very next hitter, and I think that's going to be the last pitch he throws in this one, and indeed it is. That's all, says the home plate umpire. He's ejected from the ball game, and you could see that one coming a mile away. Yeah, at this point, it's just becoming a matter of player safety. You can't have a guy out there hitting back-to-back -back hitters. It certainly looks suspicious, but even if there wasn't any intent, he probably doesn't deserve to stay in the game anyway. Brian Shaw will come into the game now and take over following the ejection. Number 29, Brian Shaw. Gene the belt kicks and deals taken but that catches the inside part of the plate Shaw was known as a short relief specialist a guy who came in got one or two big outs but with the new pace of play rules they're forcing a change for this right hander boy the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long they've yet to find it let's hope they can find it pretty soon liner towards second but well, this is hauled in by the second baseman Ready for another shot now, Andrew McCutcheon. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Right hander against right hander, as this is a ball 1 0. Oh. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2 0. Oh. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Now the 2 1. On a rope to the second baseman. On to second, and he throws it away. Not particularly graceful there, and as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Two balls and a strike now. Runners at the corners, two men out. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. When your team is behind this late in the game, and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Phillies leave a couple. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Jose Alvarez is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number 7. Number 52. Now the pitch. High fly ball out to deep right field. Back goes Harper. 
but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Sometimes when a reliever comes in a game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up, and that's exactly what happens here. The first battery faces just rockets one off the wall, and now he's got to worry about another base hit, potentially bringing home a run. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch on its way. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Here's ball one now to the Rockies third baseman. It's one and one. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. No one out with a runner at second. Belted high in the air out to left. McCutcheon looking up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Number 11 for him on the season as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Sent on the ground out to second. Kingery's there on to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now in the box, J.J. Blade. He bats for the fourth time in his career, having already collected his first hit. Not a bad first day, huh? Yeah, you can never take this day away from him, Matt. No matter what happens in his fourth A.B., he's going to get in his car today. He's going to relive every moment. Every step that it took to get here and the fact that he has a batting average when he wakes up in the morning is huge. Daniel Murphy steps in now as he rips it on the ground to second. Segura for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. But the Rockies push across two both coming on this two run home run. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Rockies seven and the Phillies nothing. In now, Reese Hoskins. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch of the at bat. That's a ball. Counts one and oh. Nope. Oh, that pitch is out. And ball that four. misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Today's game certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. A ball and two strikes to Didi Gregorius. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Oh. 
had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. A curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here's the one and two delivery. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. 2-2 two -two pitch is fouled away. Has a look. Now the pitch. Hold down. 3-2. Nick Williams will be next. Now the payoff pitch home. Oh, and a look what I found out there on the mound. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Stepping. Carlos Estevez takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Here comes the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. 2 and 0 to the Philly center fielder. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Two balls and a strike. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. And he misses again, ball three. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. They get the run there, but this late in the game with the lead in hand, you'll definitely trade an out for a run. That doesn't mean a whole lot. Adam Hazley will grab a bat to pinch hit, and he'll do so with a couple of runners in scoring position here, but with two out in the inning. And that's in there for strike one. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Second and third, two away. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Rockies are out in front, seven to one. Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers Ladies back that up. Five Four extra base hits please. on the stat sheet, guys. Now pitching for the Phillies. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Number Adam Morgan pitch. comes on to pitch now, Adam. hoping for better results than the Morgan. other arms that they've run out there in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield now single. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. It's right on the money, and Real Muto got him. Well, he tried to turn a single into a double by stealing second on the first pitch, but they were ready for it. Good catch and throw from behind the plate, and it's like that base hit never happened. He 
set. Here's the 0-1. Lazy fly ball out to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Brendan Rodgers will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Brendan Rodgers. Swung on and missed for the first strike. This one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. A one one. That's a frustrating one as a hitter. That pitcher missed right there. He did not want to hang that breaking ball with two strikes, and you foul it away. You have to regroup. You're not seeing that again. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red oh, piece of cheese of middle of the plate, and the he didn't miss it. Trevor Story. And that brings in the power-hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Back goes Harper, and just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. The relay, and he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. So one run on three hits, no errors, and no one left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Rockies lead it eight to one. James Pazos is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 47, James Pazos. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0 home. Two balls, no strike. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count, 2-0. Oh, it's three. time to start getting locked in. 3-0 and oh to him now. Philly shortstop in front in the count, 3-1. and one. Two. Ani somehow gets that one by him, 3-2 and two now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So so now we've got a battle on our hands. And he chased it in the dirt. Walters has it and he'll go to second here. The throw is wild and he gets away. Luckily for them the left fielder retrieves this ball quickly. Well that's always the danger when you've got a lead that's this big. You know there's not a lot of doubt about the outcome of the game so you lose focus a little bit in the field and sometimes as a player you try to trick yourself into playing like it's a close game so you stay sharp. Now at the plate, Andrew McCutcheon, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Ball one to start the at bat. Now the 1-0. Oh. Nobody out runner on first. 
Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there, two and two. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Here's Bryce Harper now. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. There's a cut fastball that time that runs in a bit too tight, and it's 2-0 and now. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at-bat, starting right now. Here it is, the 3-0. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. It was obvious when the count ran the 2 and 0 that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Reese Hoskins is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The 1 0. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. The 1-1 pitch. And it's 1-2. One and two. Looped under that one with that swing, which tells me he was probably anticipating it being a sinker. Fouled off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at 2-2. Two and two. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Reese Hoskins becomes out number two this inning. Didi Gregorius is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Two down, runners at first and second. Fouled away. Popped him up. Walters has a play. And that ends the inning. This one pretty well in the bag. Ninth inning coming up. Colorado's out in front, 8 to 1. Ready for another chance? Brett Boswell. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. First pitch of the at bat. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Here's the pitch. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2-0. and oh. It's no wonder why they're up seven. too far out in front that time he can't keep it fair two and one hit hard to short throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway now that Digging in once again Nolan Arenado he went deep for a two run homer in his previous at bat and that last at bat when he went deep he turned around a pretty good fastball so I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack he ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. A one and one count here's the pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's the second out.
the right field. Now at the plate, Charlie Blackman he comes in with a couple of hits, including a triple in four at bats. He's set. Here it comes. Reaches out, but he can't get it. It's nothing in one. The 0 and 1 delivery. Swing and a liner. Foul. Now the pitch. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Three up, three down for Colorado. And it remains an eight to one ball game. So striding in, JT Real Muto starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Slider laid off for a ball. Hey, it's much easier to lay off the breaking stuff when it's coming in towards you instead of when it breaks away. A good take there. Ground ball right side. Gloved by Murphy. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Standing in, Nick Williams. It was a walk in his last trip. And that misses low and away. Ball one. Not close. It's 2-0. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2-0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom-of-the-order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Two balls and a strike to count. Now a swing and a ball foul tipped right off our home plate umpire. And with no time to react, that is tough duty back there. Let's hope he's okay. Outside and a full count, 3-2. and two going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt a hitter that it's going to be a strike. Full count still. The next 3 2. He pulls this one into right. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for out number two. The batter, number four. So next to the Second plate for the Phils, Scott Kingery, 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch so far. Out in front of it, strike one. Two out, nobody on. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. Philly down to their last strike. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And this is a strike three called and a bit of a questionable ending there as the ball game is over. Well just another day at the office for these guys that stretches their winning streak to five and they're playing well in all three phases of the game pitching fielding and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. Eight to one is the final score this afternoon. Colorado swung the bats well with 16 hits. Herman Marquez notches his third win of the year as he gives up only one hit in five innings of work. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Welcome to Fire Sale Gaming, powered up by FiresaleGames.com. So just shop our website, FiresaleGames.com, 
and get you a fire sale of a deal on some video games. We also got some books, DVDs, CDs, whatever you want. Firesalegames.com. Talk it on.